my name is Asad Yaqub. What's your good name, please? My name is Nayar Ali. All right. Are you ready to take your IELTS test? Yeah, sure. Good. Let's take a start. Do you work or study? Currently, I'm working. So basically, I'm a freelancer. So I work from home. All right. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions about health. Okay. Is it important to you to eat healthy food? I think that eating healthy food is very critical for your mental health, for your body health. You have to take the healthy food like vegetables or fruits in your daily intake. And also you have to exercise on the daily basis. Okay. If you catch a cold, what do you do to help you feel better? Mostly I do the gurgling because I really think that the household tactics are very good for your health or for treating those ailments. And sometimes I also know the names of some of the antibiotics that can cure the coughs and colds. So I take those. Do you pay attention to public information about health in the newspapers or television? No, most of the times I prefer to listen the documentaries or the information that is available online. So most of the times I prefer the online information, which, is, which I think is more uh, credible. Uh, what could you do to have a healthy lifestyle? Uh, I would do daily exercise and I would love to take a walk, a 30 to 40 minutes walk daily. Also, I would love to um, include healthy uh, diet in my daily routine. So, yeah. All right, that's good. We now move on to IELTS speaking part two. Your topic is describe an occasion when you had to wait a long time for someone. Uh, here you go. For someone? Okay, you will now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. So, uh, last month I went to a doctor's clinic. Uh, the appointment was set to 8 p.m. But I had to wait for four long hours for the doctor to arrive. We were told that the doctor will come at time. But what happened exactly was that we had to stand, literally stand for four hours. There were no um, benches or chairs provided. The patients were, as the, you know, it was a hospital. The patients were very sick to sit or to stand. So that was, they were in complete trouble. So I think that um, the management should do more, uh, something more about the situation. Uh, the staff was very rude. They didn't also cooperate. So I think that the doctors should arrive at time or the schedule they have agreed on. Also, um, there should be more facilities. Yeah, if the doctor is late or she or we are expecting that she would arrive late, the patient should be uh, told about the arrival time so that they can wait at their homes or they can uh, come to the doctor's office, office at, the, at the time of their ease. Okay, thank you very much. We now move on to IELTS speaking part three. <clears throat> In what kinds of situations should people always arrive early? I think the situations that need an emergency attendings, like uh, when you are at a doctor's office, the doctor should arrive at time or you have to attend to a patient or you have another emergency situation, then you should arrive at time or before some time to avoid any trouble or inconvenience. How important it is to arrive early in your country? I don't think that many people in my country uh, obey or they, you know, regulate their time. They do not come at times. Most of the times we go to an office where we have booked an appointment, but there is no person to attend to. So I don't think that many people uh, follow the timetable How here. can modern technology help people to arrive early? Well, I think that there are certain apps that can help you manage your time accordingly. You can uh, make a schedule or you can uh, make an uh, alarm for you to remember that you have to go somewhere or you have to meet an, a person or you have to attend a certain seminar or uh, uh, any uh, program. Yeah, so they can help a lot. Okay, thank you. That's the end of your IELTS speaking test. Now okay. listen, in part one, some of your answers were too short. Okay. And what you do in part one, two, three, mainly you are using simple sentences. Okay. After one sentence, you just add another one, another one. You should use more conjunctions, connecting words, and try to make most of the sentences as compound sentences. Okay. On the other hand, when we were in speaking part two, uh, you took some pauses as well, and you need proper organization of your answer. Okay. 
like the topic was describe an occasion when although your answer was very good okay. it was appropriate but you need to organize the things before you start because you took some pauses as well okay. and even before a minute right and you spoke for 1 minute 15 seconds try to speak a little more than that okay. then when we come to part 3 again you are repeatedly using the structure you have to do this you have to do that you have to go there you have don't do that because this shows you only know this structure Okay. right you can say first of all you have to take care of the time and on the other hand you can talk yeah. about second thing so what you do repeatedly you are making most of the sentences which are simple try to focus uh, and compound sentences are not difficult yeah. and the good thing is your grammar is good the good thing is you have good ideas the good thing is you speak fluently so just connectivity of ideas and making compound sentences will give you very good bench score so this time looking at your overall performance i'll give you a 6.5 okay